Hello Freedom, today I'd like to talk to you about writing a proper sponsorship letter. People have been asking me for a very long time how to do this. So here we go. The very first thing that I tell anyone who wants to do this to do is to set up something on their Gmail called Canned Responses. Canned Responses is an awesome tool that you can use for a lot of things, especially if you receive and respond to a lot of emails. But also, if you're sending out a lot of emails, you can use it as well. So, the very first thing that we need to do is we need to go up to the gear here, and we need to go into settings. And here, you can set up in labs, just search for canned responses. Right there, you can see I have it enabled. Now that we have canned responses enabled, we can use them. So. When you're writing a new email, you'll notice a little box here. You can go to canned responses, and it will actually give you all of the different ones that you've set up. Uh, you can either insert, you can save, or delete. Here, you'll see that I actually have one set up for a software review. So go ahead and get rid of that. All right, so this is actually a very basic template that I use. Of course, every time I customize it. But as you can see, it's very short. It's very succinct. It's just very simply. My name is Anthony Smith. I run a YouTube channel and I link to the channel that focuses primarily on gaming, gaming related content, as well as software tutorials and reviews where I have around at the time that this was written, it was 7,000 subscribers. That channel is now at about 10,000 and about 2,000 daily views. I'm contacting you because I would love to cover your program, whatever it may be, now that it's come out on Steam, or whatever I would probably change that to if it were not a Steam program. Uh, I would love to know if you would be as so kind as to provide a review copy of program so that I could compare and contrast it in review. And also a second paragraph describing the kinds of things that I do and the kind of things I would love to do for them. It's very simple. The main thing about writing a letter like this is that you don't want to tell people your life story. Though it may be tempting to tell someone that you do videos after school or that your father just died two weeks ago or that you come from a bad neighborhood and that YouTube uh, helps you stay out of trouble. These are things that you definitely, you know, you want to talk about to your friends, to your fans, but they're not relevant to what the company wants from you and what you're offering to them. Here you'll actually see an older version of much the same letter that you just read, except this is actually a follow-up email that I would tailor to whatever it is that I would send out. So, for instance, the very first sentence is simply, I recently attempted to contact you about reviewing your game. I wanted to try again just in case I mistyped the address or the message was somehow lost in spam. Here's the thing. These people who make these decisions about sponsoring you with products, games, review units, whatever it is, they get a lot of these, of these requests. The key to your success is to stand out amongst the crowd. This is a letter that you would send about 7 to 10 days after your initial request. If you send it, say, the following day, and people do recognize you, and they see that you're being pushy or overzealous, they're going to dismiss you immediately. However, if they do remember you vaguely, and maybe they just didn't get back to you, this will actually bring you a lot of respect. It's also important that I note here, linking things is going to be a huge success to you. So for instance, here I link the YouTube channel that I'm talking about, and here I actually link to Social Blade so that they can see that I'm not bluffing about my numbers. When you write a letter like this, it's going to be selling yourself. You also want to make sure that you read over everything. If you customize something, um, between sends, make sure that it's spell checked. Um, for instance, here you'll see that the word let's play, it's not necessarily a, a word that's recognized by dictionaries, but it is properly spelled. You want to make sure that you have everything 
uh, set and set properly, otherwise you risk making a bad first impression. Funny story, I actually sent one of these letters to Mojang, but didn't customize it for the game or for what I was asking for. And Lydia Winters emailed me back and basically said, yeah, next time you might want to maybe fill in what it is you want. And that was kind of a learning experience for me. In the description below, you'll find a copy of my letter. Now, this is the same basic letter that I've been using since around 400 subscribers or so. I will leave a copy of this so you can copy and paste it, rework it into something that fits your channel, and hopefully you can have the same success that I have had over the years. There's actually a second method that you can use, and it involves trading services and favors. So, for instance, let me pull up a very, very old email. So here, you'll see a support ticket. I couldn't actually find an email for this particular company, so I decided I would open a ticket with their support. And I simply told them that I was a YouTube uh, commentator looking to do more tutorials and looking for a small-scale sponsor to create some tutorials for their Minecraft servers and, uh, and the like. And believe it or not, at my very small size at the time, which was about maybe 800 or 1,000 subscribers, uh, because I was doing tutorials for them on my channel, they gave me a server that I could play with, play on, collaborate on, and work with. This is a prime example of how you, if you know your skill set, can help other people help you. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, comments please. Because my self-worth is directly tied to the number of subscriptions, likes, and comments I receive on this channel.